Hey everyone, this is a follow-up to the video I did where I uncompressed the ProMix to see how it compared in volume to uh, a couple of other inexpensive potting mixes. So I decided to go ahead and start some seeds. I know none of these are actually advertised as a seed starting mix, but I'm going to do um, some comparison with seeds and then I'm also going to see how some plants grow. And um, here we are about, about two weeks in and uh, what we've got is uh, some peppers across the top row. Uh, I believe it's some uh, lemon balm in the center, or actually the third row down, and some tomatoes in the bottom row. And the, um, the first one left here, so this is actually the cheap Walmart mix, which gave us the most volume from the bag. That was $10 for the bag. Uh, the center three here, this is the Pro Mix at uh, $12.25 or so for the bag. And uh, surprisingly, this is the Kellogg, which is a local organic mix. And uh, it's really not doing very well. So that's kind of a interesting for me, because I've been buying a lot of that. So um, what I'll do is I'll let these go for another week or two, see how they look. And then we will put them into pots. And um, what I'll probably do is take the best ones, with, at this point it looks like the Pro Mix, and I'll plant those into the three types of soil or potting mixes just to see how they compare. So nothing scientific about this, just a little fun experiment. It's called the uh, battle of the cheap potting mixes. And um, as it turns out right now, the pro mix is actually really good for seed starting. So let's check back in in a couple weeks. We are now three weeks into this growth comparison. So this is, I'll call it the uh, battle of the inexpensive potting mixes here. Uh, over on the left, this is our Walmart potting mix. Our center is our Pro Mix, which I bought from Walmart from their compressed pack. And then this is a local organic mix from a company named Kellogg. What's interesting is the lemon balm in the middle, uh, it is starting to come around now. And on the Walmart brand, it died. And then look at the Pro Mix ones. They are just exploding there. So what we have is on the back row, we have Big Thai uh, hot peppers. So you can see that back row there. The center is lemon balm. And then we have Roma tomato. So these did start sprouting finally. But I think the, uh, the results here speak for themselves. There is just no comparison. So even at a, a slightly additional cost, it wasn't a lot more. It was 12 and change for the bag. Um, and it was a little less in the bag than the comparisons. But just, I mean, with these kind of results, you just can't really justify buying the cheaper mixes. I mean, if you're just not going to get results, then it's not worth it. So I'm going to do two things now. I'm going to pot all of these up. Uh, well, I'll, you know what, I'll do the peppers and the lemon balm. I'm missing a tomato there. Um, I'm going to take the Pro Mix seedlings here, pot them into the other mixes and the Pro Mix, and see how they do. Um, see if that stunts them or helps them grow. And I'm going to do a secondary comparison here with Pro Mix against some more expensive competitors. See how it does there. So um, let's get these potted up and then we will check their progress after a couple weeks. Here's the final round of the Pro Mix challenge where I'm comparing Pro Mix versus Walmart and the Kellogg growing mediums. So here's our first group of plants. And again, these were all initially about the same size when I show you the groups. So each group is two pepper plants and a lemon balm. So here's group one. I won't tell you which is which yet. Here's group two. Got it. Here's group three. So you might have guessed. Pro mix is the center. Doesn't really matter which or which on the other two, but this is the Kellogg. And then this is the Walmart. They're pretty much the same. Now remember, all of these seedlings were started in the Pro Mix. And then I took all those healthy seedlings, up potted them to these three inch pots in with those other soils. 
and the Pro Mix continued to show superior performance. So I mean, it's not even close. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Now they all do look a little yellow right now. I had them outside for the last week or so. And we've had a lot of rain, but a majority of this growth occurred before that. But even given that, the uh, the Pro Mix plant little curly on the leaves, but it's not as yellow either. So that's a, I mean, that's a pretty good result there. And when you add that to the results I had when starting the seeds, I mean, there's just no comparison here, especially when you consider the price. Now, uh, one correction, the Kellogg that I thought was the cheapest was actually it's either a misprice or just a one-time deal. It's actually about the same cost as the Pro Mix now. Uh, one other quick thing I'm going to do. I had a few comments about the Pro Mix will expand when it's wet. I have filled this container to the one quart mark, which is basically right in there. It's just below where you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and add water in here and uh, let it hydrate for a little bit and see what it does. So let me take a couple minutes to do that and I will come back with the results. I've just added the water to the Pro Mix and I mentioned to somebody in my comment, I've seen it shrink and you can see that's the case here. You can see the one quart, it's kind of backwards there. It's actually shrank almost 25% to the mark. It's down to about three quarts. However, I'm gonna let this sit because it might take a while for the hydration to take place. And this is pretty wet. There's actually some a bit of water in the bottom there. It's not, it's not really standing water. It's just well hydrated. So let's give it 10, 15 minutes and uh, see if it swells back up. Here's the final result of adding water to the Pro Mix. I'll try to kind of level it here. You can see that one liter or in this case, the one quart mark. So it did shrink with adding water, reduced down probably, I don't know, 10, 15%. So um, the end result, yeah, you get less pro mix. It is a little more expensive, but you know what? When you compare that to that, then it's, in my opinion, 100% absolutely worth the small cost difference. So um, that bale may have actually been two cubic feet. The other ones might have actually just been more. You know, if they were two and a half and then it was two, uh, it may not have looked like as much, but it really doesn't matter again. Um, Price-wise, the results just speak for themselves. So um, that's all I'm gonna use moving forward for my seedlings. Now for larger pots, I'll probably continue to use something less expensive, maybe make my own mix. Um, but again, the pro mix for the smaller stuff, absolutely. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave any comments down there and I'll try to get back to you.